I remember when your uh, Vlad interview popped up, and I was like, God, he got him before me. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that Vlad. Yeah, I, I, I had just did that Vlad like, like last year, like last year. Right. I think that Vlad. Then I did like a million views. I know they were fascinated by you. And then when I went out to O Block, who was there? Boom. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling with Shoebox Baby, eating a pizza puff. We got Boss Top. You ate a pizza puff. I didn't, but I watched him eat it. So I feel <laughs> like I got the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my boy Box, though. Yeah, that was a legendary day. That was no, tight. Sure. Fredo San- uh, or excuse me, not Fredo Santana. Fredo Long Bang. Fredo. Fredo Long with Fredo. Fredo. Fredo Bang just in there shooting a video randomly. We got Drew in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Boss Top. How you like it, though? How you like the old block? I loved it. It seemed like it had such a good vibe. Like, everybody was just on some... Some real happy shit, which I guess makes sense because, you know, you got rappers in town, everybody all hanging out, shooting videos and shit like that. I'm sure it's not always like that. And then it was, like, surprising to see you. <laughs> yeah, we I got, bet. We got Adam and <laughs> Oh, like, that's nice. But then the the weird thing about it is that after that, from following you and Shoebox and all these people and stuff and just, like, seeing, I see a lot more of the community and what it's like on, like, a day-to-day basis. So I feel a little bit more tapped in with what it might be like. It's smooth, like people, people like they kind of. A lot of people like they don't outside looking in. They may hear stories. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like that uh, make him like, man, no, I don't, I don't trust they little. Uh, right. I don't even want to leave my phone on charger right here because I'm gonna walk 50 steps away. They uh-huh. might take it. Whole time we chilling, like we be. You sent it for yourself. We be open arm. We chilling. We right. have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Just, some people just really gotta. Like I said in many of my other interviews, you just gotta really come see for yourself. Like I used to I don't know if people fear coming to see. Like I used to I got half fears. Plane was a fear. I faced it. I get on planes. Now I wanna ride first class. It's like, but so you're suggesting that people who ha- who are fascinated by O Block should just show up and come hang out? Come pull up. If hit a motherfucker, <laughs> hit the DM, hit me, hit Lil Wani them, hit somebody. Look. But you should hit somebody. Slide. Yeah, hit somebody. Look, I'm gonna slide through that bitch. Set you so set you so when we when we have it. We gonna roll a red carpet out for you. If a random ass YouTuber shows up, walk around the O, what's gonna happen? Shit, you gonna ask questions. Some people, I'm ignorant. Right. I don't know you. Give me off your camera. I don't want to be at your camera. You're doing good in life though. You don't need to snatch his camera. But somebody might be like, I give me that camera. No, ain't, photo man ain't gonna snatch no camera. Like we ain't gonna snatch your camera. Like what? this ain't way back 15 years ago when people first started bringing iPhones out and shit, and they started snatching phones and like, right. Hell no, nah, we don't do that shit. It's really. Like, it's like that's a letdown. I feel like some um, of the, they deserve to have their cameras taken at a certain point. A bit. Especially like we don't know you. What you doing with this camera? Like we right. you the feds, the police, anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like we're right. Like this, but pe- but you see how much of a clout opportunity it is for people yeah. where people really be showing up in old blog, filming vlogs and shit. I'm not sure if they always are tapping in or if they know anybody before they go there. If some of them, it definitely seems like they just going in there I and just seeing phone, what happens. That, bro. But I ain't have him come. He popped up. I made him turn the camera out first. He turned the camera out. We were chopping it up. And he laid it out on me. I asked him, like, you nervous? I'm not nervous. But my drilling, like it says, hard was just beating so fast. It's just mm-hmm. too much going on. Like, a kid might shoot by on the scooter right here. Somebody might run past here. Anything. He said, he just got to watch everything. He was like, then after uh, so long, he, like, he was cool. He was chilling. He cut the camera back on. He was kicking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He started chopping it up with everybody. He walked around that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's, it's. It's like, it's it's other people more than just black people that live in O Block. It's, really? It's other people that live. White in, people? Yes, white people live. In really? Yeah. I want to meet them. Yeah, you got to come back. I'm gonna take you right to them. It's like one family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's the point that they over there. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like they ain't. This ain't no. Oh, can't nobody come over here type shit. Like Yo, that sounds like you? a YouTube title right there. That's yeah, how YouTube meeting make it meeting look. the one white family who lives in O Block. Yeah. They must be cool as fuck. I just, I, I, I really just noticed on this ten though, like recently. If my girl leaves me, I'm gonna oh, just oh, get a bachelor pad in the O. And just be bringing <laughs> girls back. People, everybody be looking at me like, "What's he doing? Why is he here?" I'm like, <laughs> I'm living it. I'm living what I podcast. For sure, that's the plan. Um, yeah, man. But okay, you said 15 years ago it was that much worse. I ain't gonna lie, like when. Before iPhones came out, like it now nowadays it's like is 
way more opportunities for like the younger generation to get on their feet, and it don't have to be illegal. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You could get what you doing right now. I could get my kids three cameras, two microphones, some lights, and put them in the basement in one of the rooms. And we're seeing a decent number of people from Chicago who are coming from basically nothing, and they're doing something, See making enough saying? money to live off it's, YouTube. It's boom. But now it's just like that shit got to be facts, though. Like, make that shit fact. Like, like people get these channels and be so fluky about what they got going on, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, or what they know, they don't, they don't, it don't be facts, you feel me? So it's like, back to what I was saying, you, it's so many opportunities though, bro, like to get some money and it don't have to be illegal. You could make your YouTube channel, you TikTok, mm -hmm. anything, dancing. If you know how to fucking make a nice looking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> That's just a, a triangle. You, you fucking can blow up off the peanut butter jelly sandwich. Right. Off the TikTok, off the YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And it's, you didn't know about any of those opportunities no, when you were a kid. No, it wasn't that many options. We ain't had the internet back then like mm. that. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.